Hello and welcome back to my channel, CPTSD and Spirituality. This is Starshine and I am wanting to say thank you for those who um, joined in on the um, Trauma and Chakra series. Um, I appreciate the likes, the shares, and the follows. Um, Sorry that I've missed you for a couple days. Um, if you've been following along on the journey, you know that I have been um, diagnosed with um, malignant melanoma and the tumor. Um, one of the tumors that I have is um, on my cheek. Um, I tried to do a video um, the other day, um, the day that I started treatment on my cheek and unfortunately um it was not allowed i did post it but it was taken down so i guess i need to be careful and how i share this journey with others um in one of my videos i talked about part of my cptsd comes from medical trauma and um i have had uh i have had diagnoses in the past and um, that route did, did not end up working for me and I ended up getting through the past diagnosis um, utilizing holistic healing which um, back then I think the last time that I had went through this was probably you know maybe 12 years ago um, and I radically changed my life. I um, quit smoking, uh, quit drinking Mountain Dew. Um, I went plant-based completely. The first um, several months through that journey, um, I did a lot of juicing and um, I just changed my lifestyle. This is where um, yoga, meditation, and all of that came in. Um, and so it's been a, it's been a kind of a struggle with this new diagnosis um malignant melanoma was never on my radar um because i had already experienced some earlier um cancer scares and uh, the first one I went through, I, I used the allopathic route, and the second one I started that route and then um, ended up being told that um, there was nothing else they could do. And I was, you know, I'm 48 now, so I was, you know, my late 30s then, mid to late 30s. And it was like, you know, I'm, I'm a mom and I'm a grandma, and so I'm not going out like that. So. You know, I radically saved my life um, by researching and, and doing things that I could do to, to continue the journey. And so, you know, I think probably in the last few years, of course, you know, maybe I got a little bit relaxed thinking, you know, um, I never did go back to um, meat eating, um, but I think I kind of, you know, kind of didn't really worry so much anymore. And maybe I would throw some potato chips, um, you know, um, cheese, you know, something, you know, things that I just kind of relaxed and was like, oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, the melanoma was not on my, not on my radar at all. Um, and getting this diagnosis, it has brought forth a lot of things I thought, you know, like I had healed um, because the CPTSD, sorry guys, <laughs> commercial on there. Um, the, a lot of my CPTSD came from my childhood, childhood trauma and those involved in that. And, you know, there was a lot of times for a long time that I was angry and, um, blame my parents and and um, other family that I had went through what I went through 
and I had kind of gotten through all that you know, over the years of, of um, self-help and, and um, forgiveness and um, maturing to a point to where, you know, I could look at my parents and realize that, you know, they also, you know, um, had traumas and or what have you and that led to some of their choices that affected me. And then um, this melanoma di diagnosis comes and um, it just brought up more of, you know, it was a trigger, definitely. And then I, I had moments of anger at my parents again um, because, you know, after changing my lifestyle from the things I learned from them, the coping mechanism, I learned them smoking cigarettes, um, caffeine, getting lost in uh, sweet tooth, uh, eating my emotions, whatever that came along from that. I got to a point where I was comfortable and at peace. And then, you know, I was, when, as I was finding out about how I got melanoma, well, um, when I was a little girl, you know, I have red hair, green eyes, <laughs> fair skin. And um, one of the traumas I endured was because, you know, um, we went out, my mom and her boyfriend, he loved the big, big lakes and stuff like that. And, you know, he'd get up before sunrise and not leave the water till after sunset. And there was two or three times when I was little um, that I ended up with third degree burns. And um, one point in time, I remember uh, nine days in the hospital with sunburn and sunstroke. So here I am, you know, and feeling like I'm ready to, you know, I've healed, I'm ready to uh, take everything I've learned about he holistic healing with, with through the CPTSD, the cancers, the anxiety, uh, low self-esteem, and now I have this. And um, I, I did go down for a few days of just, you know, feeling sorry for myself, blaming my parents. But, you know, I quickly came out of that with, you know, like, that's not going to change anything. Um, when I finally made my decision after, you know, going to different doctors and oncologists and, uh, um, a naturopathic doctor and when I made my decision that you know for me um, with all the knowledge that I've acquired to live a holistic lifestyle to um, step outside of conventional um, medicine outside of religion all of that when I made the decision I was going to also combat this diagnosis holistically there was such a sense of peace that came through me um, I feel like also um, things I didn't even really know I was hanging on to or um, stressing about or worrying about or what have you um, when I made that decision it's like they that all went away um, and so I'm going to try and find a way to where I can show you and, and bring you along on this healing, holistic healing journey of, of this. Um, but as of right now, when I tried to do the video about what I'm using from the earth to bring this, this tumor out, um, and, and get it to surface and, and leave my body, um, it wouldn't let me share that part of this journey. Um, but I'm going to maybe, you know, maybe I'll put together a web page and maybe that won't be censored or whatever. But I feel like what I have studied and found in my journey of where I'm at now um, and doing this with faith, um, Mother Nature, 
um, spirit um, and the path that's leading me to these answers um, on how to save my own life. Um, I definitely want to get it out there. I haven't figured out exactly how. I don't know if I took my bandage off right now and I kind of explained anything um, to you guys if it would be able to reach you. So um, I'm going to find a way to document this journey, share this journey, um, where I'm at right now and underneath here. Um, I'm on day three. I started utilizing using this product. Um, I I researched it. It goes way back to uh, indigenous times and how they used to help um, remove these things from from them through their um, their wise ways. Uh, it's what I'm using now. So. I don't want to get too far into that because I, I hope that this video can be seen and then um, I can hopefully take you guys to another space um, where you can actually see. I have been taking videos of it and pictures of it every day um, because, you know, it, I think that's part of, you know, CPTSD, <laughs> Consciously Practicing Tools and Strategies Daily. Um, an empowerment to take my life and into my own hands, take my healing into my own hands, trusting and having faith in um, my higher power and the creator that, that brought forth all these things that are here and available to each and every one of us and the, um, the design of our, of our avatars houses our spirit and how given the right circumstances and the right tools and strategies how it's a miracle in itself and how it can it can heal if it's an it's alive it's, its own little universe in here and and um watching it and taking care of it to um to heal and and be healthy and whole and live out you know um a long healthy happy life um so thank you for watching my channel um stay tuned i'm gonna find a way to share this stuff um because i would love other people to be empowered to know that there's uh, there's many paths um to the to the top of a mountain and um there's not just one way, there's many ways, and that as individual uh, unique souls and, and bodies and genetics that um, one size don't fit all, and that's pretty much what we're fed. And um, if you're here for this part of the journey, please like and subscribe. And if you know of anybody else that this could help, um, please share my video. Thank you.